Hello, in this video we will discuss how you can use CDP and LLDP in production networks. Guys, uh, instead of using packet tracer, I am using real rack. So this is the topology I am showing here for my rack. And these are the port numbers like switch 1 and 2 are connected with port numbers 21 and 22. Switch 1 is connected to R1 on switch 1 port number is 1 and on R1 port number is FA0 by 0. Switch 2 is connected to R2 on switch 2 port number is 2 and on R2 port number is 0 by 0, FA0 by 0. So these are all four devices, if I have R1, so let, let's name them first of all, host name R1. Then we have R2, let's name it R2. So this is already switch 1, so let's name it, this is switch 2. So first thing, by default CDP is enabled on all Cisco devices. By default, CDP is enabled on all Cisco devices. So there is no need for you to enable CDP. And like on switches, ports are by default up. There is no need to turn them on or there is no need to administratively no shut those ports. So what you can simply do you can run the command show cdp neighbor on switch 1. So like it is showing that it is connected to switch 2. We are just concerned about switch 1 and 2. We are not concerned about other devices. So let me show you the output. So this is the output I am getting. So this output I am getting on which switch switch 1. Switch 1 is saying it is connected to which device. So first of all we have device id. Then it is showing what are the local interface numbers of switch 1 by which it is connected to switch 2. So actually switch 1 is connected to switch 2 via two links, link number 21 and link number 22. This is hold time. Actually the actual hold time is 180 seconds. If it will start from 0 it will go till 179 and hello interval for CDP is 60 seconds. It means this timer is refreshed after every 60 seconds whenever it will receive a CDP packet from the neighbor. But if CDP packet is not received for this particular hold interval, which is keep on decreasing, let me show you. You can see it is 179. So that's the maximum value. It will decrease. It will go till. Uh, let me show you the mathematics 179 minus 60. So it will be 119 seconds as soon as it will receive uh, another CDP packet from the peer. But the thing is, if the, if the peer is not able to send me the CDP packets for 180 seconds, I will delete this entry. Next thing is capability. Capability is showing what kind of device it is. So S means switch. And next it is showing what platform we are having on that particular device. So platform is 3750 and we can also see the port numbers of the other device. So these are port ID or you can say port number of remote devices. So with the help of CDP, we can actually know our device is connected to which type of Cisco devices with what interface number, what is the capability of that device, that device is a router, that device is a switch. We can also know what is the operating system we are running, running on the other device. So, okay, let me do one more thing. Let me turn on one interface on R1. Interface FA0 by 0, no shut. So which interface is this? Like you can see in the diagram, this is FA0 by 0. I just no shut the interface. So I hope switch is able to discover this particular router or router is able to discover this particular switch. Let me run the command show CDP neighbor. You can see here router is able to discover a switch. Local interface number of router is FA0 by 0. The whole time if router will not receive CDP packet from switch for 179 seconds it will delete this entry. Capability of the device is switch. Platform is 3750 and port number of switch is FA1 slash 0 slash 1. So guys this is how you can use CDP in your networks. Let me do it the same for R2 also. No shut. And I hope switch 2 will discover R2 also because switch 2 is connected to R2. 
okay sorry actually this port number is fa0 by 1 so i have to correct the interface i'm shutting interface fa0 by 0 and i have to bring up fa0 by 1 so if you check show run interface fa0 by 1 you can see the interface is no shut and if you run the command show cdp neighbor i think yes you are able to see here switch to switch to or you can say routers local interface number is fa0 by 1 and switch to interface number is fa1/0/2 we can see the same results on the switches also like i sh i have shown you previously that how you can check your cdp neighbor table globally but you can also check it on interface oh, i think yes on interface basis fast ethernet 1/0/1 so it will just show me the cdp neighbors present on which port fa1/0/1 so which device is connected fa1/0/1 there is a switch there is a router router capability is 2811 so actually 2811 is a series or platform to which router belongs so guys this is how we can use cdp to discover cisco devices as a network and we also get to know how devices are connected together thank you